So I'm going to make this video from a man, uh, Joel, and uh, also uh, Stefan from uh, Munich, Germany. So uh, you guys were interested in a little R&B music. So um, um, give you a little tips and pointers that I do in Logic sometimes. I'll show you some uh, basics. So uh, let's see. That's not R and B. So uh, let me let me get you some R and B here. Just a minute. Yeah, we'll say that. All right. Let's see what's going to say. Okay, so uh, this is basic. So let's let's see. Let's see. Uh -uh. Yeah. No, that's not it. This again on the wrong key, I think. Yeah, let's see. So, um, I think that's right. Uh, let's start with this, uh, drum pattern. Let's solo that. So, all I'll just use was a basic kick and a snare here. I mean, basic stuff. Let me see where I got this from. I'm using this from battery. Okay. So you know exactly what I'm using. I'm using the final vinyl kit battery. Let's see what is going here.
basic. I'm 127 beats a minute. It's a tempo. Kick. Snare. Now, only thing I used a little different here was a little a ghost a ghost uh, kick. Let's see if I find it for you. Yeah. So it goes something like this again. Boom, boom, yeah, you see that? Okay, so it's like. You get the picture. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So basic one, two uh, type drum beat. So then, after you get that started, then you want to try to give it some ambience around it. Now, um, the keys don't much matter. I can turn them off, so we can do some different keys around the song, but let's see what this is here. Now, I think these are some shakers, so let's play them. Yeah. Okay, I'm using the Urban Drum Kit. Same kit. See those shakers? See? Hear them together. See that? So, so that's the drums, it's just basic. Then there's right here, these are just kind of fill-ins. So check these little claps out here. I, what you have to do, you have to change the velocity of these these claps. They're kind of fill-ins. I didn't do anything with them. I had no effects on them or nothing on this. So they go like this. Now let me show you what I did so you can see. See the velocity on each one of these hits are a little... It starts high, then goes a little lower, then a little lower, and a little lower. All right. Here it comes. Now you can hear it, how it sounds with the with the uh, shakers and the kick and the snare. Now I got a cymbal here. Go back, please. So I usually kind of start like that, kind of get a drum beat going. And then I get all the other stuff to kind of fit around it. So, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
This is a bass. You can use Logic Deep Bass or whatever you want to use. All right, then I got a little lead. Okay. And the rest we just kind of fill in, you know, it's it's just your your preference. So let's do it from the start. Now another trick you can use on this is like when you when you're playing your bass, whatever bass you decide to use to give your bass a little more feel. Like most of the track is going to be quantized uh, for the most part, but if, to give your bass, if you're like a bass player type guy, synth bass player, you want that bass to be live feeling. So I wouldn't use much quantize on the bass. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, Let's just move this over for here for now. So check it out. Like we'll start we'll start the beat right here on on the second loop. So let me find the key. Here we go. that so that's another trick you use get your bass on especially on your r&b songs to give your music a little more feel you want to play that bass live all right sometimes it may take you more than one take to get it right but you know that's um a key thing to do all right so uh that's one track we'll go to another one here let's see find another one for you uh close that no don't say that okay let's see what we got here this is, I haven't done anything this too much, so this is a basic one. So, uh, here we go. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Now, that's as simple as it gets. That's at 140 beats a minute. I'm using a battery. Uh, the trunk kit. See that? Kick right there. There it is. Okay. So, uh, let's see what else we got here. Again, the shakers. Hear that? So all this is battery. 
No effects or nothing. See there? The audio effects would be right here, so I have no effects or nothing on it. All right. So, let's see what this is here. This is, uh, this is just a lead, and I got a joystick on my keyboard. I'm using the Core Kronos. And it's got a joystick instead of the uh, bending wheels. And for me, I like the joystick better for like manipulating the sine waves and uh, doing the lead. So the joystick is my preference. Okay, you'll see how that comes together here. So the so the keys. Here we go. These are just uh, electric piano. My old standby lounge lizard. Let me show you that right there. So if you play keys, you know, uh, you can't go wrong with lounge lizard. But there's, you know, some others out there. But this is one I use. Then so something basic. Hear that? Let me show you what I'm doing there. Yeah. It's in B flat minor. Okay, so that's that. Now, and then of course, uh, the bass track. Check this. No quantize on the bass, remember I told you that? Now, so let's show you how it sounds at this point. So this is only a four bar loop. I'm at 140 beats a minute. And you can kind of hear what, what we're working with. The beginnings of a song. All right, so. Okay, so that's the basics of it. So uh, that's another little snippet R&B track, how to start it out. Um, let's see if I can find another. Uh, Let's see, this is probably some rap. Let's see. Oh, I just had that. Let's see. I
let's see what this is, man. Anyway, man, we'll uh we'll start there and we'll talk later uh, on some other um, little pointers, and uh, that should give you like a good little starting point. But um, we'll start doing some more videos very soon. So uh, yeah, just hit me up.